Well, uh, just getting back to that business of the movement to f photography, how can one use photography really to illustrate a 16th century village in France or medieval knights at a jousting tournament? I mean, there's, there still is that kind of content that has to be um, displayed and presented. And I think it would be taking contemporary yeah. illustrations, paintings obviously from that era, alongside photographs of how wow. they are now. So, so for example, um, dinosaurs, that I, and I don't know that we can claim to be the inventors of the idea, but we were asked to do a big series of books on dinosaurs um, and for uh, Boys Mills Press, Highlights for Children. And we just threw out the idea that maybe a way of making people understand about dinosaurs was to compare them to modern day animals. And so the book was based around full colour illustrations of dinosaurs um, and alongside each dinosaur we had a photograph of a modern present day animal that effectively was doing exactly the same thing. You mean like eating, foraging, walking? Exactly, yeah, yeah. A big and animal? Yeah, yeah. So meat eaters, plant eaters, it, I insect can see how eaters. that would help a child to sort of yeah, go one extra yeah, step. Yeah, so, you know, we were, we were trying to say dinosaurs were not, that they were unique. They were not exotic. But they were not exotic. They were just animals. Uh, they're prehistoric and, and, you know, they look weird. But they're no different from the animals you see today. They live and breathe li literally the, and, and survive exactly in the same way. So, you know, and, and again with, with uh, science, which was my background, the fun part for me was always, and I still think it's true, try and make an analogy that children will understand. So once, for example, I was asked by a publisher, um, would you ever do a book about um, DNA for five-year-olds? Yes, was the answer. I don't be ridiculous, you can't do that. I said, well, why not? Why do that? Well, why not? I said, you don't call it DNA. You'll call it the magic code. You call it color code or whatever. And yeah. you can describe exactly what happens with DNA in a way that children will understand. Yeah. So it's you, your challenge is to find the analogy, find the handle that, that they will understand. And that for Wonderful. me, well, what a great what That's a great wonderful challenge. stuff, yes. Um, so, you know, I would say don't ever say, don't tell a five-year-old about dinosaurs, about DNA, about uh, theory of relativity. There's another one. Don't but use don't, the jargon. Don't use the jargon. Tell, use the jargon that kids understand. But don't say to them, oh, that, that's too difficult for you. That's, that's, that's cheating children. That's not being fair to them. Your challenge as a... Uh, disseminator of non-fiction is to come up with a way that they will understand and that's what's great fun about children's non-fiction.